Good morning and welcome to the Merrill Fire Department. The Merrill Fire Station is located at 110 Pier Street in the city of Merrill, right downtown, right next to the post office. Let's head inside and take a look around the fire station. We'll give you a virtual tour. During our tour, you'll actually see some of the members uh, working. Uh, our members work 24-7, 365 days a year. Currently right now, there's a screening process in place due to the COVID-19. So we'll open up the door here. As you enter the main entrance of the fire department, you'll be greeted by one of the battalion chiefs. Good battalion morning. chiefs work out of this office. There's one battalion chief on each of the three crews. Battalion chief Tad Wagner. Morning. Go through the office portion as well as on the department. We have the office of the administrative assistant and battalion chief of administrations. The fire chief's office, you may notice a lot of the fine artwork provided by my kids. We're very fortunate at the fire department also to have a large training room. Right now the training room is not occupied or active, but the room allows us to bring in presentations and instructors. We also at the very top of the training room here along the outside have a display of some of the artifacts and old fire equipment that had been used at the department as well as pictures of all of the members of the fire department. Give you the quick tour here. Also a lot of pictures from previous members. Moving into this section of the fire station, this would be the living quarters for the members. While they're at work, they come to work and work for 48 hours or two full days before they get to go, go back home and then they're off for four days from work. So it's important that uh, since they're here living that they have the same amenities that they have if they were at home, a kitchen, being able to make their food. They make all of their own food here. Obviously a large table, just like your house. They have some recliners and a TV where they're able to have some downtime in the evenings. This is one of the dorm rooms where they actually get to sleep at night if there's no calls. Two bedrooms on this side, as well as a bathroom over here. Not very exciting. We'll get to the more exciting parts here shortly, but our members as a career department, they work here for those 48 hours and they're ready to respond at any time to any type of emergency that might come in. As part of our work too, they also have to do a lot of paperwork and reports. So we have Firefighter paramedic Nick Phelps working on one of those reports right now at a workstation. This side over here is also another one of the, the dorm rooms. This side has a few more dorms for the firefighters to sleep in. We're not going to go in uh, any of the rooms just because of uh, privacy. Like I said, this is where they, they live, so we respect that we want to keep some of it to themselves. So. Coming back out here though, this would be one of the doors they would go through if they actually had to row on a call. And we'll start here on the left. 
which is actually would be facing out the to the west of the station. So you have all their turnout gear lined up on the wall. This is where they store it when they're not at work. We're gonna step outside here just to give you a little bit of perspective as to the doors that we're facing as we continue to work, work around the station. So this would be, like I said, the, the back side of the fire station. The first vehicle we're going to show you here is Med 61. Med 61 is our oldest ambulance. But all of our ambulances are equipped with uh, similar equipment. So they have a, a bag with the medical equipment that would be needed to treat a patient. Inside there's more equipment that would be used if someone was sick or injured that we could treat that patient in the back of the ambulance. On the counter there is our cardiac monitor. That's very important for treating a lot of the medical conditions that patients may have that involve their heart. The next piece of apparatus is our rescue squad, squad 64. Think of this truck as a big toolbox with all of the equipment on there that we might need to rescue a patient from a car accident or they were swimming or had a boating accident or maybe out on the ice that's what's in this truck right here it has a lot of that equipment like i said a big a big toolbox maybe we can open up some of it here for you that one has equipment for what we call a confined space if somebody were trapped in a, in a hole this one here is our water rescue compartment. Also got a saw on there, a chainsaw, some fire extinguishers. So this is a very important piece of equipment as, as they all are. Each one has its, its own specialty. The next one, this big truck here is what we call our water tender. Tender 65. This truck is used primarily to haul water to a fire scene that's located outside of the city. Inside the city, if we have a fire, we use a fire hydrant to get our water to put the fire out. But when we're outside the city in a rural area, we need to bring the water with us. So what's cool is that inside the compartment here is actually uh, for what we'd call a big swimming pool. We set that up and then back here on this chute, when the pool is set up, they're able to dump water into that pool and that's where we can pump water from to help put the fire out. This truck carries over 3,000 gallons of water on it. Making our way over here, we have our next vehicles. Kind of zoom back here for you. So the red vehicle, car 67, and the maroon one behind it, car 60, are what we would call our command vehicles. So as the fire chief, a lot of times I would drive one of these vehicles, or if we have personnel that need to go out and do fire inspections or training, maybe going to a conference, they would take one of these vehicles as well. Our pickup truck, Utility 68, in the winter we can put a plow on it if we need to get into somebody's driveway. But the other function of this truck is to haul some of our equipment. And back here, one piece of equipment is our off-road rescue vehicle, our UTV or six-wheeler.
try to give you a little picture of this one. A little dark, but in the back of the six wheeler, you'll find an ambulance cot. So if we needed to transport and get somebody out of the woods that maybe had an accident, we can put them on there with a little seat for an EMT to ride with them. Also that yellow tank underneath there has water in it. We do have a small pump on here as well. And this vehicle could also be used for a small brush fire if needed. As we make our way around the fire station on our tour, over here is our rescue boat. So this rescue boat would be used if someone was in trouble out in the water. This also could be hauled with utility 68. And you might be able to see the rest of the room as storage for some of the equipment that we have at the fire department. We have a tool shop area. So if we need to fix any equipment or if we need to work on some tools, this room over here is our medical equipment. And we use this medical equipment after an ambulance call if we need to restock the ambulance and put equipment back on there for the next one. We're gonna continue around here. This is by far the biggest and most expensive piece of equipment we have, truck 63. And this is our aerial truck. You can see way up there. This truck reaches 100 feet into the air. It's bigger than the last one we had, which was only 85. And it's a beautiful new truck that we've used many times now. This truck also has a pump on it, so we could pump water if we needed to but the primary function of this is gonna be for us to be, to get way to the top of the tall buildings. So Park Place and Jenny Towers and the courthouse, those are all really tall buildings. So being able to get to the top is gonna to be important. On the north side of the fire station, we'll show you this room. This is our compressor room. So inside here, you'll notice that big unit right there. And that unit right there is a special air compressor that we can use to pump air into our SCBAs, or our turtle shells, or our bottles that we use to breathe inside of a fire. And those can all be filled from this compressor here. Most of those bottles are stored right on the vehicles. So you'll notice on this truck that we keep those air packs right inside the seat. And that lets the firefighters put their air pack on while they're going to the fire. In the background, you might be able to hear one of those air packs now. It's important that our Firefighters check those packs daily. So sometimes just like when we visit the fire For fire prevention at the school you hear those air packs make special noises That's our firefighters checking them to make sure they're working properly Our next vehicle we'll show you on our tour is engine 62 Engine 62 is a pumper truck so the primary function of this truck is to have water go from the fire hydrant or from that truck over there, the water tender, goes through a pump inside of here and then goes back out to the firefighters through one of these hoses that's on the truck. And this truck also carries a lot of special equipment that could be used at the fire besides the hoses. It's got ladders on it. Some more hose, the big yellow hose up top there, that's the one that we use to hook to the fire hydrant.
gives you a little piece here. The battalion chief, the person in charge of running the fire scene, would be sitting in this seat right here. And even at the fire department, maybe just like your classroom now, you use computers. We use computers for a lot of the stuff we do too to help us keep track of things. As we climb up here a little bit, we'll give you a little bit of a view of the cab. Big steering wheel there that the driver needs to get uh, the fire. That device right there is what we would call our thermal imaging camera. And this lets us see through all of the smoke to find the fire or possibly to find somebody that could be trapped in the fire. So that's an important piece of equipment to have. And the radio, we use the radio obviously to talk to people, let them know what's going on. A lot of buttons, turn the emergency lights on while we're going to the scene. You hear another one of those air packs in the background as they're doing checks, they can get kind of loud. As we get closer to the end of our tour here, we have the vehicles that probably get used the most at the fire station. This is Med 63, one of our ambulances. Once again, we use our ambulances to treat anybody that might be sick or injured. We saw earlier, we saw the gear that was on the side, the gear that was on the side of the station there. When they're on duty, they actually have to put their gear on the truck because at any time that alarm could go off and they may have to respond immediately. So we're making our way around here. We have a couple cool pieces of older equipment. This would be a hand cart that was used to pull hose, a hose cart pulled by hand to get to the fire scene. So before they had all these nice fire trucks, they had to actually pull it by hand Or then the advancement was, is that they could use horses to pull some of the equipment. So this is a wooden ladder cart that's been with the department for quite some time. And firefighters on this, back in the day, would have to hook the, hook the cart up to the horses and they would ride right up here on those, on those bench seats and had to control the horses and would have to lead the horses to the to the fire scene. So there's a lot of history on this. This is our backup engine. We call it engine 61. Engine 61 is our oldest fire engine. So we use it as a backup to engine 62 if we need to. And that happens from time to time. Sometimes things break. made our way back that was medic 63 bless you brush 66 this is our brush truck so if we had a wildland fire or grass fire this truck here would be used to put those type of fires out it's pretty cool because it has a nozzle on front that works off of a joystick or remote control inside the vehicle. So that one's, that one's pretty cool. It's got big tires, almost like a monster truck. So if anybody likes monster trucks, you'll like this truck. Here's the pump that's used to pump water with a little bit of a water tank and some fire hose. We do have uh, upstairs at the fire station. We'll take you up the steps here. And upstairs, well, there's not much up here, mostly storage. Got some storage and a mechanical room back there. But what they do have up here that's very nice is a workout room. So it's important that firefighters stay in shape. So they can come up here and work out. We got some weights. We got a treadmill and an elliptical machine. 
All that's used to keep our firefighters safe and healthy. We'll give you a little shot from up here, kind of see what everything looks like. As I mentioned, and you noticed, we had fire trucks and we had ambulances here. Everybody that works for the Merrill Fire Department is trained and went to school to be able to do both. So they can work on any of the fire trucks as a firefighter, and on the ambulance, they actually work as an EMT or paramedic. This is the last vehicle we'll show you as part of our tour. This is Med 62. Med 62 is our newest ambulance. Once again, this, this is the vehicle that probably gets used the most because 90% or nine out of every 10 calls we get at the fire department are for people that need an ambulance. So it's a very large part of what we do and for our job as a firefighter and paramedic. And as you've heard them in the background here, the crew, when they come on and are working at the fire station, they have to check all of this equipment to make sure that it's in working order and ready to go. So it's very important that they know how to use it and that everything's working properly. We're gonna finish, we'll take you back through the Battalion Chief's office here where we started. And this is where we have to do their paperwork or computer work. We'll head back out to the fire station here. Hopefully you enjoyed your virtual tour of the Merrill Fire Department. And we look forward to having you visit us actually at the fire station as everybody gets healthy. And we'll finish by taking you over to the firefighter memorial, which you probably drive by when you go to school maybe, or you go to the grocery store. Just like your school, we have a flag out front that we take care of I hope you have a good day thanks for taking a tour of the Merrill Fire Department